Hey guys, it's Mike Chin here in Tokyo, Japan today. And it's just so full of happiness and excitement because I got three words for you. Food, magic, Disney. You get off the subway, start hearing that Beauty and the Beast theme song and seeing the mouse ears everywhere. That's where you start feeling a little, a little tingle. This is when the magic starts to happen. So Disney in Tokyo consists mainly of Tokyo Disneyland and Tokyo Disney Sea. Now Tokyo Disneyland is more family oriented. Tokyo Disney Sea, apparently that's where the best rides and the best food is. So that's where I'm going today. Welcome to Tokyo Disney Resort. Our next stop is Tokyo Disneyland Station. This is so pretty. It's, it looks like an authentic seaside town. Oh, this is cool. This is like walking through the gateway of a castle. And you get to this volcano. That's almost looks like Aladdin combined with King Kong. You know, you see the Arabic looking palace right in front of the <laughs> volcano. But that's where one of the best restaurants in the park is located, Magellan. So I'm gonna go try to get a reservation right now, put my name on the list, and then we'll go around and eat some other stuff. This is it, Magellan's. All right, uh, I thought I could just come and put my name on a list. That's what some website said I could do. You can't do that. You gotta book a reservation before you come here. So, not eating there today. Oh well. Let's go drown our sorrows in some turtles. Fried pizza turnover. Ooh. All right, two types of pizza turnovers. One mozzarella and chicken, and the other is seafood and curry. Both burning high. Oh, this thing is falling apart. You don't really see a lot of the seafood in here. In terms of Disney food, yeah, definitely one of the best Disney food I've had. Mm. Crispy, toasty little hot pocket. Mmm, you get a big burst of seafood flavor. The inside, the middle part of this pocket, is actually really meaty and nice. You see a little bits of shrimp in here and a little bits of fish. You do taste the fish, I think it's tuna. The chicken mozzarella. Mmm, mmm. Oh. I personally like the chicken mozzarella better. To me, it's more pizza-y. You got a good amount of cheese in here. I mean, you don't taste the chicken as much, but I think the cheese and sauce is where this gets me. Ah, this is really good. Turtle, of course, something you gotta get when you're in Disney. And here they have a sweet potato churl with like some kind of glaze on the inside. It's like a savory churro. It's kind of weird. It's got a slightly sweet outer shell. It's not crispy at all. And the inside is some kind of gravy. I don't love it. I want my regular churro back. I don't know whether because I'm eating a churro, so I'm expecting like a sweet, crunchy, sugary pastry, or it's just, I think it's just not that good.
is Pixar's Mike Sully. Look at that, look at that. You can, you can, you can. <laughs> Sully's got a little plump. Been putting on the LBs here. All right, sorry, buddy. We gotta see what's inside your tummy. Ooh, it's a hefty bun. Oh, it's corn and chicken inside. Oh my God. Mm, smells good. Honestly, when you break it apart, it's like, man, it does look like digestive food. <laughs> This is not a bad bun. I mean, it's got good chicken flavor. It's piping hot. Nice little sweet pops of corn. The flavor is good. A little dipping sauce would be even more amazing. So far, I'll say, food in um, Tokyo, Japan, exponentially better than food in Disneyland in the US. So much better. Even though that churro kind of threw me for a loop, it's still, it was all right. I mean, I'm sure like if you, like that flavor, you will, you would have liked it. I just, I'm not really used to it, so it's not for me, but not a bad dish. And this is really cool. This is the cheese milk tea. Oh, it's cheese full milk tea with a couple of like, I don't know what this is. Ooh. Oh, this is yummy. That's so yummy. Mm. They're like little pieces of like little crunchy crisps. Mm. Oh, it's creamy, milky, perfect thing to warm you up on a chilly day. Mm. Oh, so yummy. So yummy. Get this. Go ahead and get a big blue bun and get yourself a milk tea. I like that combo. Oh, this place, spicy smoked chicken leg. Heck yeah, baby. This is the spicy smoked chicken leg. And this thing, I mean, it looks great. It's all the spices on the top. I bet this tastes way better than that giant turkey leg they always serve in these museum parks. You know what? This is a good chicken leg. First of all, it's massive, right? And you really taste the smoke. Mmm. Like huge, huge smoky flavor. It's not spicy, not that much, but what makes this really good is that it's not dry. I mean, it's not the juiciest thing, but it's tender. That is way better than a turkey leg. Oh, this is incredible. Wow. Can't believe how smoky it is. And this is like all meat with this little bone in the middle. So like, you don't have like, even that big of a bone, it's like mainly like 80% meat. Like a smoky chicken lollipop. Hmm, actually seasoned so well. Oh, bravo on this. I say must try when you come here. And this thing, this is like a, some kind of sparkly mango juice. What? This drink of everything I've had so far is the craziest thing I had in this park. Oh, gotta get this when you come here. Wow. There's like little pearls inside, like little mango tapioca pearls inside. Mmm. Every sip, you get some of that nice meaty mango with the sparkling water. Oh, and the chewy tapioca. This is a sparkling mango boba drink, and I don't understand why it's not in every single boba tea store in the world. This. Mmm. Oh, it's amazing, amazing, good. <laughs> Buy the massive, spicy, smoky chicken leg, sip of sparkling mango boba. It's probably how our ancestors used to live, like this. This might be the best food drink combo I've had at any Disney theme park ever. Ah, so good. Ooh, wow, what do they have? Tipo Torta Chocolate. And Tito Torta Pizza? I don't know what a Tito Torta is, but I want one. Oh, 
Apparently this is a tipo torta and got a pizza one and a chocolate one. That's pretty dry. And the crush is buttery, but overall it's kind of dry. Like really, it's like a really crumbly stuffed pizza breadstick. It's very buttery, but you gotta get something to drink with this. And the chocolate one. I don't know why this place is called Tropical Owls. I never tasted anything from a tropical place. It tastes so dry in my life. There's not a lot of filling. It's just a lot of crust. I mean, it doesn't taste bad. It's very buttery. But the chocolate one especially is dry. I mean, the chocolate center is good. It does not make up for the dryness. Yeah, I would give this a skip. No idea what I just saw in that boat. That was disturbingly surreal. Well, let's go get some more food. Oh, check this out. Okay, so this is a Nemo and Fritz orange turtle. I gotta try that. Sushi roll, shrimp, and heck yeah. Magical shell soup. All I heard was magic, so yes. And pineapple. We're going four for four here, folks. Four for four. This is a uh, Finding Nemo themed place. Nemo Churros. Orange flavored churro. I mean, it's artificial orange, but it's still good. I like this. Much better than the last churro I had. This is the spicy chicken shrimp roll. I gotta tell you, this is pretty good. I mean, I didn't think it was gonna be good. It looks all colorful, like a bunch of sesame out here. I mean, it looks like an Asian unicorn just like went to town on the sushi roll. But I think it's delicious. It's meaty, huge flavor of seaweed. Really nice aromatic sesame. I think it tastes great. I got a seafood soup because it's cold. This is a wakame and egg soup. What? This is like, <laughs> I feel like there's like a seat foam in here. Maybe that's the idea. Look at that. See, oh, wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. The seat, this thing just turned. Oh, this is like the, uh, <laughs> the magical part of this soup, I think. Why is magic all slimy? Yeah, it's just mochi. I think the soup tastes okay. And pair with this. I think it's good. I like it. This is like what really mystifies me. Like, it feels like there's some kind of goo on the bottom of this. And some kind of boba or Nemo eggs or something. Mm. Poppin' boba. Yeah, this sucks. Overly sweet. It's uh, jelly on the bottom. I think it's pretty. A like, good concept. But the sushi thing, that's great. What are you looking at? You want you want a bite of this? You want a bite of this? Eh. Eat that. Oh oh, more gathering. Which one of you is the bravest? Come on, buddy. Nobody. Okay. Here you go. Here you go. You know what? You know what? You, know what? you guys. Here, here. Just just. Just, just, just take it, just take it. See, the bird even likes it. Oh, this is crazy. Matcha white chocolate popcorn. Uh, I don't think this is a line to see Donald or Daffy or any other duck celebrity. This is just popcorn. Are you in the wrong line? No? I'm excited to try this popcorn too. Matcha white chocolate popcorn. This, this is 
delicious. Wow. Heck yeah. Oh man, this is incredible. Huge matcha flavor, huge chocolate flavor. And like, you can distinctly taste this white chocolate. Oh, this is amazing. Amazing. It tastes like a, you know, like a matcha cake. It tastes like a matcha cake in popcorn form. This is fantastic. Oh, so, so delicious. Like you wouldn't think like the matcha flavor where the chocolate, white chocolate flavor would stand out. They all stand out. Huh, where's that duck? It was like waiting in line with me. What, you're not the duck? Here, have one though. Good, right? <laughs> I like how they're like superimposed onto the bun. So this little life preserver for Donald. This is the Yukiwa bun. <laughs> That's cute. A little life preserver. Shrimp bun. Oh, where is this? Oh, okay. This thing is steaming hot. Okay, there's not a lot of stuff in here though. It's like, it's a lot of dough. And yeah, they're very fluffy and airy, but it doesn't seem like there's a lot of substance inside. That is a good bun. If this bun started in a Buns of Still video, you would not complain. It's actually really fluffy and airy. Mm. Sweet bits of shrimp inside. The flavor of the filling, even though I couldn't really see it that well, it's actually pretty substantial. Mmm. It's really shrimpy. That seafood flavor with that great fluffy bun. No wonder this guy's so happy. Right here. Probably be a really bad life preserver though, because if I had to like not eat the bun to float and stay alive, I'd probably eat the bun. Oh man, I missed out on the green alien mochi. They're leaving. So sad. But something smells really, really good from over there. So I'm gonna wait in line. Hope, it, hope they're grilling a dinosaur. Oh wow. Oh man, it's a sausage with a bone as its stick. That's pretty intense. Gotta say. Delicious. So good. Wow. Light snappy casing, juicy, it's spicy and smoky and peppery. Ah, oh. so delicious. Presentation is good, flavor is good. Ah. They literally give it to you on a chicken ball. Mm. Only thing though, I really hope they don't reuse this. <laughs> Just saying. All right, this is crazy. This is the pork rice roll. This is something I've been wanting to try ever since stepping into this magical kingdom. It's fatty pork belly wrapped around rice. And apparently you just like, you just gotta take it in your hand and, and gnaw on it or something. And this is the teriyaki chicken with sesame. Again, they don't really give you a knife or fork or anything to eat this with. You're just gonna have to go all barbaric with it. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, that's great. Oh, it tastes marvelous. It's the sweet, saucy pieces of bacon wrapped around sticky rice. God, this flavor is deep. You can taste the fermented beans. The fatty pork is all melty. The sticky rice is a perfect texture complement. That's delicious. Oh, it's so delicious. That flavor couldn't be more on point. This is a chicken roll. It's pretty good. I think if I just didn't have that bomb of a bacon rice roll in my mouth, I'd give it much higher compliments. It's basically chicken wrapped around chicken. So the outer layer is the skin, and the inner layer, you got more of the lean meat. I mean, this thing is delicious. It's spicy, peppery, crunchy sesame seeds are a great touch. Wow, both of those two rolls. Round of applause. Oh look, it's Lazzo. So pretty. Every time you encounter something like this, you feel so bad because you're about to be not as pretty. It's actually a pretty good cookie. 
I mean, obviously it's more of a novelty item, but I like it. Nice and airy cookie, squishing chewy marshmallows in the middle. What's not to like? This is really cool. This is ruby chocolate with raspberry milk. If you guys don't know, ruby chocolate is actually like kind of like white chocolate, dark chocolate. There's ruby chocolate. Delicious. Ruby chocolate's got this great creamy, fruity flavor to it. Oh, and the raspberry. What a great compliment. There are little bits and pieces of chewy raspberry in here. It's creamy, sweet, slightly tart. I feel like this, this Disney food day just keeps getting better and better. Couple more food items I really want to try. One of them is a, this is really interesting. Check this out. It's a gyoza sausage bun. This is incredible. This, oh, what ingenuity. Stuffing a hot dog inside a dumpling. Okay, I was wrong. It's not a hot dog because they call it a sausage. I thought it was a, like a hot dog sausage, but it's just a, a, a long hot dog shaped dumpling. That's a good bun. It's definitely not the best thing I had today, but it's a solid, solid pork bun. I feel like the meat is a little too tender for my taste. I do like my, my filling to be a little chewable than this. But the skin is super airy, bouncy, and soft. And if you're into like really delicate dumpling dough, you'll love this. I think this is, again, I feel like a lot of stuff today, especially when it comes to any sort of dumpling or any sort of bun, it would just be magical if there's some sort of dipping sauce, like maybe a little sriracha or hot oil or vinegar. I think it would just be, I think it would be next level. All right. There's one more thing I really want. We'll see if they have it. This is just so pretty. Like I feel like I'm in some picturesque fairy tale town in Europe or something. The last, <laughs> the last food I got is kind of a, kind of a downer because I, I looked at this thing in pictures. It looked really good. It's, it's a four cheese pizza with, with a Mickey Mouse. I thought it was a Mickey Mouse soft boiled egg, but it turned out to be just like a slice of craft single cut out in the shape of Mickey's head. So not exactly the greatest food finale item on a Disney day, but anyway, it smells good. All right, I'm sorry to do this to you, Mickey, but you really disappointed me. Cut your ears off. With a drizzle of honey. It's actually a pretty good pizza. Walnuts, four different types of cheese. Super thin crust, super thin. A little gimmicky with that Kraft single slice of Mickey's head, but otherwise, good pizza. Still really kind of melts in your mouth too. Mm. I would call that more, more of a flatbread than I would a pizza, especially with a nice drizzle of honey. Not bad. Mm. I've been to Disney four times in my life. The first time was when I was eight years old when I just came to the US. It was a church trip and we stayed with a great host family, me and my parents, I was eight years old. And we went to Epcot, we went to Disney World in Florida. And I just remember it being just a, like a kid from China who's never been even close to anything resembling an amusement park. Going to Disney was just, you know, it really was, for lack of a better phrase, a whole new world. And I still have vivid memories of that trip, you know, going to the beach, going to dinner. That was probably one of the greatest memories of my childhood. And then later on, growing up and always having that wonderful treasure memory of Disney. And then going to Disneyland in Hong Kong. That sweltering hot mess of a place just I'm sorry, like I, I don't, that day just really, it was just not fun, you know? It was just hot and, and the place was small. It, it looked like Cinderella put her castle on foreclosure or something. It's just, it wasn't a great memory. And then going to uh, Disneyland in Anaheim and 
Yeah, you know, it was fun, but it wasn't anything magical. It wasn't, it wasn't anything spectacular, especially not the food, but this place, Disney Sea here in Tokyo. Obviously, not a sponsored video. I don't work for them. But God, today was just a magical experience. Like, I love this park. I love it. I, I, I will come back tomorrow. Like, there's so many rides I haven't been on because today I've just been busy eating. And most of the food I had were amazing. They were good. I remember like in Disneyland, if you watched that video, I think it was like two out of 15 things that was decent. Here, most things were delicious. The people were nice. Just walking around, the vibe, the atmosphere. This is Disney. This is the Disney I remember when I first came to this country. What I'm trying to say is, it was a great time today. Great time, great food was had. So if you get a chance, you're in Tokyo, definitely check this place out. Like one day, I would say, not enough. But this will go down as one of my favorite Disney experiences. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed this Disney food review video. And uh, if you wanna be powered by hot oil just like me, uh, stores down below, click on it, get yourself a great shirt. We got some new ones in. Uh, I think the new one is, I don't need a hangover, I need a food coma, something like that. It's really cool, check it out. As always guys, thank you all so much for watching. And until we eat again, 